These are the most epic moments of Fortnite season three so far. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos and drop a psych if you enjoy. On to number 15. With Season 3 bringing Fortnite back in style, a lot of pro players have been wondering how they could use the sharks in new and crazy ways. Well, Livid Gage can be seen here in the final zone in a 1v1. I'm pretty sure this clip was recorded literally on day one of Season 3. But anyway, the kid he's against is hiding next to the storm and definitely doesn't look like a sweat. So, Gage takes the biggest risk ever, grabs a shark, heads for the whirlpool, and what he does next is absolutely insane. If you told me a season ago that we'd be getting trick shots by flying a shark into a whirlpool, I would probably laugh at you, but this is a regular thing in Fortnite now. I mean, it kind of makes you wonder what else people will learn to do with sharks this season. What's even crazier is this clip was even retweeted by Fortnite themselves, so safe to say this will go down as one of the most fire trick shots of season three. Number 14. All right, nothing drives me crazier than when I'm playing with squads and my whole team decides to just split up. It's always then when you encounter another group and just get dumped on. Well, if Blazed Wizard was on your squad, you probably wouldn't have a problem. Dude is an absolute genius with boats. Basically, his friend was getting pushed and as he was just about to die, Blaze decides to make a final play with the boat to come help him out. You won't believe what happens next. So yeah, not only did this guy just somehow invent cranking 90s with a boat, but he absolutely squashes him with the boat and flattens him like a pancake. Absolute oof moment. Number 13. While we're on the topic of some wild boat plays, season three giving us a ton of more water to play with has really allowed for some insane moments. So what happens when I Bolts combines the new water with the boat from last season and a basketball from season five? Welcome to Fortnite Dude Perfect Edition. First of all, I've been playing this game since day one and I still had no idea that you could throw basketballs into a trash can, but looks like you can. And on an actual serious note, I just gotta ask how many times it probably took to set this up. Like, it makes you wonder. Number 12. With season three, we were introduced to a whole new class of enemies known only as the Marauders. It was these guys which pretty much replaced the husks or stormtroopers from previous seasons. But now in season three, you could just be minding your own business and a pod full of marauders will smash into the ground. I think the worst part about these guys is just how dedicated they are to try and kill you. Like they'll just follow you until the end of time. But where they drop is completely random. That's important for this next clip. I died to a dude because he was just spamming me from attack on top of a building. Bro, what is- Oh my god! What are the odds that they would land right on top of his chopper just as he flew underneath the pod? It's insane timing, but you gotta admit, it's pretty satisfying to watch these relentless marauders fall to their death. Karma's real, marauders. Number 11. So you know when you get attacked by a shark and it leaps at you, but then it gets stuck on land? Well, most times the shark will just turn right back around and head back to the water. Except this one person had a really weird encounter where it looks like their shark got kind of tired of swimming and decided to take a, uh, a little stroll. It's, it's weird. So yeah, this shark literally just straight up climbed a staircase and just started vibing on the roof. I don't know if this was some sort of glitch, but hey, you gotta admit, it's hilarious. Number 10. Usually when you see Fortnite trick shots nowadays, they're normally pretty simple and involve a few spins, but with season three bringing back a ton of old items, Apex Skills wanted to really push the envelope further. Using the shockwave launcher to shoot himself through a tiny window, then land on a crash pad, he hit one of the most insane shots of all time. Roll it. Oh, let's go. I think the main thing I love about this clip is how absolutely calculated it is. Like he flies right through the window and nails the final shot, a clean rounded 100 damage as well. Insanely satisfying. Number nine. Usually when it's just you against a team of players, the odds of you winning the match are pretty slim unless you're either a god at Fortnite or you take a massive risk. And in this case for Chungalungus, which by the way, great name, he had to take a literal leap of faith outside the storm in order to try and get the dub.
Can I just point out how clean these kills are? Like he essentially lasered these guys from above and rained havoc on them. It's a really cool mix of both skill and a lot of luck, and that leap of faith to try to get the final kill really puts the cherry on top. Number 8. With Fortnite having crash pads in the game for a while now, we've all kind of gotten used to throwing crash pads down as a reflex. We just kind of do it without even thinking about it, but that exact reflex sometimes is the downfall for a lot of us. Especially Wari Word, who learned the hard way that you gotta be careful where you throw them, especially in Season 3. So yeah, it seems that with Season 3's new fire damage, you can now blow up gas pumps just by throwing a crash pad on them. So uh, yeah, you might want to actually watch where you throw them nowadays because it ends like this if you don't. Number 7. This next moment is from Energy Zate and his teammates. Long story short, they get into a sticky situation and Ronaldo has to pick up Zate while the enemies are right behind him. Being an absolute legend, Ronaldo just decides to stick the revive, not worrying about the squad that's literally right behind him. Here's how it plays out. Oh my god! Oh my god, I kill him! <laughs> I mean, what an escape. Thank God that those enemies didn't realize how long was left on the revive or they would have just been completely wiped. I will admit, it was a super lucky escape though. That shockwave out there was perfect. I mean, you'll love to see it. Number six. So a lot of the moments I've covered on this list have been really intense counters, nasty trick shots, or just some really cool funny moments. But this next clip is probably one of the weirdest ones out there. This dude's just gliding down to his spot when out of nowhere, this starts happening. Yeah, I have literally no idea what's going on. I mean, it's cool to see how wings work when skydiving and gliding, even if the glider is glitched and you're kind of just T-posing your way to safety. Like imagine just looking up and seeing a T-posing player levitating towards you. I'd probably freak out. Number five. There are a lot of advantages to using the new Shockwave launcher. Instead of having to use grenades like a few seasons back, you can now just easily shoot Shockwave grenades to your heart's content. But back when Shockwave grenades were in the meta, not only could you use them to make you travel, but also your enemies. And it looks like this strategy has once again returned. Can I just say, this man got absolutely yeeted. Poor Aura was just trying to get a dub and suddenly he's catapulted into the storm. Better luck next time. Number four. I kinda have like a love-hate relationship with zip lines. They're great until they're not. Here's one thing all of us can agree on. Getting a clean snipe on them is really satisfying. That's why it's even better when that snipe happens super far away. Roll it. I mean, the zipline just adds a whole other level of satisfaction with this snipe. Just an overall clean and awesome shot. I just kind of wonder what the other guy was thinking seeing his life flash before his eyes. I mean, he definitely saw that bullet coming from a mile away and couldn't do anything about it. Number three. The internet is full of funny Fortnite clips where people will take out an entire squad, begin to celebrate or taunt them through emotes, and then a random player will come out of absolutely nowhere and just dump on them. Celebrating early will always be your downfall, except it wasn't a player this time that decided to serve some karma. Play the clip. <laughs> yeah, I bet you weren't expecting a killer shark to just burst through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Me neither. But I uh, gotta admit, it's some pretty funny instant karma if I do say so myself. Number two. We've seen a lot of plays involving the crash pads recently, especially in Season 3, and this next clip from Twitch streamer Kappa takes the idea of a crash pad trick shot to a whole new level. Pretty much a mix of luck and skill, but I'll let you judge for yourself. Yeah, I'm not too sure I'm being finesse here. Oh my god! Oh, no way! Oh my He's out god. of the air, right? I mean, even Kappa was baffled that he hit this shot, especially considering the enemy was literally in midair. Like I said, can't tell if this is skill or luck or probably both, but either way, it's a pretty nasty shot. And finally, number one, we have an incredible clip from my little brother Scoped, who hits a pretty ridiculous shot with his hunting rifle at the Fortilla. With only a few enemies left and the storm closing in, Scoped's trying to find where they're at, and he spots someone at the very last second. Oh my god! Oh. 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 O
Yeah, it's an absolutely insane shot, and I'm still kind of baffled as to how he hit that without even thinking. It's like his brain's on autopilot during these things, I swear. But this has been Tommy. Hope you enjoyed, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.